my future crypto millionaires my name is maria e anderson we talk about crypto on this channel so please follow this channel if you love everything about crypto so guys in this video let's talk about one of my favorite crypto projects one of my favorite ecosystems polkadot everything you have to know about polkadot in 2024 and guys of course you have to understand that polkadot is not just a token dot it's a huge ecosystem it's a quite complex technology so in this video i will try to explain you as much detailed as i can also i will refer to different websites and to different articles and then guys i will leave all this information in the description of this video so you can go and do your own research okay that's very important in crypto and here is a great article about polkadot 2.0 but do you guys really know and do you guys really understand the technology behind polkadot 1.0 so as you might heard in June 2023, the co-founder of Ethereum and the creator of Polkadot presented his vision for Polkadot 2.0. But before we start researching the information about Polkadot 2.0, uh, let me explain real quick the technology behind Polkadot in general. Here is the official Polkadot's website and I will also leave you this link in the description of this video so you can do your own research. If you want to invest in this project in the future in this token you have to do some research and read all the documentations so polkadot is a network protocol that allows arbitrary data not just tokens to be transferred across blockchains this means polkadot is a true multi-chain application environment where things like cross-chain registries and cross-chain computation are possible so let me show you something guys uh, look at this here is the difference between blockchain layers a blockchain architecture is made up of several layers layer 0 layer 1 layer 2 and layer 3 so think of polkadot as a layer 0 where ethereum for example is layer 1 and here is for example popular layer 2s like medic or optimism and also i'm sure you've heard about layer 3 such projects as uniswap or mana so if you want learn more detailed information about layers i will also leave you this article in the description and now guys let's go back to polkadot so polkadot can transfer these data across public open permissionless blockchains as well as private permissioned blockchains this makes it possible to build applications that get permissioned data from a private blockchain and use it on a public blockchain and of course guys all the polkadot ecosystem is quite technical and this explanation might sound too technical for you but believe me guys this is what you have to know when you're doing some research you can also visit this section and learn much more about Polkadot's technology. But of course, as any technology, Polkadot's technology is not perfect. That's why actually we will see this Polkadot 2.0 quite soon. So with Polkadot 2.0, the network is set for a strategic pivot towards further optimizing the use of its core computational resources that aims to shift Polkadot from a network of interconnected blockchains into an integrated global computing platform. And what does this global computing platform actually mean? So let's see, and I really like this article because it's not too technical and I'm sure guys for you it will be quite clear. So Polkadot 2.0 update will seek to shift the focus from just connecting different blockchains to making sure these connections are as resource efficient as possible. And here is what will be done, optimizing core computation and simplifying resource management. One of the biggest changes with Polkadot 2.0 is how it handles resources like computing power and block space. In the current slot auction model, applications looking to build on Polkadot have to put up a lock and a significant amount of resources for a fixed usually two-year period, which wasn't always efficient. So instead, Polkadot 2.0 aims to introduce a more flexible system where applications can get exactly the amount of resources they need 
when they need. Also with Polkadot 2.0, the network is set to become more adaptable and ready to support a wider variety of applications. And here are some key innovations in Polkadot 2.0. So at the forefront of Polkadot's 2.0 innovations is the Agile Core Time System, a departure from the fixed auction-based method of acquiring computational resources. Why exactly is this important? Well, part chains operating on Polkadot require core time to ensure that the transactions and blocks that they send to the base level relay chain are processed and authorized by the network's validators. Agile core time signifies a shift towards a more flexible and responsive resource management framework within Polkadot, offering projects the ability to tailor their computational resource procurement to their specific requirements. Also, this update will be quite important. Elastic cores adapting computational power on demand. Being elastic, these cores will dynamically adjust their computational power based on the actual needs of the power chains, ensuring that resources are not just acquired flexibly, but also utilized optimally. Okay, one more thing is enhancing block space utilization with asynchronous backend. So asynchronous backend moves away from the requirement of parachain blocks to be directly based on the latest relay chain block and instead lets parachain block be built on top of all the relay chain blocks. This change means in practice that it separates the growth of the relay chain from the growth of parachains, leading to empowered efficiency and scalability across the network. So Polkadot 2.0 reimagines how resources are allocated within the network, which remains central for transitioning Polkadot from its original lease-based model to a more flexible, market-oriented approach. By introducing a system for core time where computational resources can be bought, sold, and traded freely, Polkadot is setting the stage for dynamic allocation of resources that can efficiently meet the involving demands of the network's users and developers. So to summarize changes, here are the main things. Increased network performance, higher transaction speeds and more efficient processing. Easier access for developers. Simplifies the process of new projects to join and build on the network. Flexible resource use. Projects can scale their resources up or down based on demand, optimizing costs and efficiency. Greater scalability allows the network to support a larger number of transactions and applications simultaneously. Enhanced user experience, faster transaction confirmations and smoother application integrations. And here is Polkadot 2.0 estimated roadmap. And I'm sure, guys, I will do much more videos about Polkadot. Let me know what would you like to know exactly about Polkadot 2.0. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow this channel if you want to know everything about crypto.